Hello again. We are doing another Pokemon, but this time it's not a short, as I most likely included, unless something was wrong with the footage. If this looks familiar, this tin is from Costco. Uh, it's part of the four pack. So the Umbreon came with the Espeon, the Empoleon, and the Sylveon. And uh, if you know, what one of my favorite Pokemon is, it is Umbreon. So I was definitely tempted to grab it, and I did. Some of the other tins are going to be accounted for, but this one was definitely for me. Because <laughs> I like Umbreon. You know, we rarely get to um, buy the Pokemon trading card game as well, so I was like, hey, seems like a pretty good price for like four tins. This is the front. It's the top. Sides, it's Espeon, Sylveon, and the back. You can uh, pause the video if you want to read everything, but I'll at least read what's in this. Uh, it says one foil card featuring, which in this case is going to be the Umbreon V, five Pokemon TCG booster packs, and a cool card for a Pokemon trading card game life. Which, does anybody actually do the the online version or the live? Like, is it actually good, worth it to um to play it online? Please let me know if you you play. Oh, and I am featuring a bracelet made by my friend. I am probably going to unfortunately butcher her shop name, so I've included it um as a like a little caption or something caption here and she also streams on twitch so her links for that and her shop which is through Kofi Kofi website all of that will be in the description she doesn't have this in particular she gave this to me as a gift it's stretchy yeah another roller she doesn't have this in particular, but um, if you want to see like what else she might have, then check her out. Check her shop. Check her out on Twitch. There you go. I figure finally should wear something since all you see is my bare arms just doing all kinds of things. This time I wear something. I'll try to remember to. <laughs> okay, so we're going to unbox this and I'm going to also do the card pack so we get to see what I got in here other than this guy here and I got my roll of scissors which hopefully it'll cut good oh here so my husband actually got this from um, from the from the heart these two these two here. So I have the Umbreon V Max and then I guess this is another Umbreon V but as you can see it's different. Although it looks like the moves are the same but the picture is different. If you're in the know, um, if anybody can explain like why the picture is different. Like is it just specifically for this like set or um, is there something else? I mean, although I do see that V roll is down here, but I don't see that here. So I don't know if that could be it. But anyway, I have these two that my husband got for me. I have them set up on the side of the table so they can watch. <laughs> Let's open. Let me scared the cat. Okay, let's uh, let's close this up for now. Okay, we let's put this here. Okay. okay, I'm not taking him out of this yet. 
Not until I can put them in something. So, this card's staying in here. You can uh, just want to watch from the side here. Okay, and these are the five packs. There's ooh, pretty much nothing else in here. You can either put the cards, which we're actually putting it in a binder, so I'm not going to put the cards in here. Put something else in there. Let's throw this away. Anyway. And that's loud. Okay, we'll put it on the side for now. It's a little too shiny. Okay, so let's see. Which sets did we get? We got Brilliant Stars. And so we got two Brilliant Stars. Charizard and... I can never really say this Pokemon's name right. It's with an A though. Arceus? Arceus? And then one from Fusion Strike. With the dog that... Oh, what is it? his name I don't know but everybody was I think slightly disappointed because it evolves from like the corgi into like this dog and it's like with the corgi Ooh. evolving skies has Umbreon okay that's nice definitely keeping that oh and then one from the chilling rain so let's see so there's like only one from each for these and then two brilliant stars so um, we opened up one of the other tins, and I think it came with maybe two Evolving Skies, two Fusion Strikes, and then the one Chilling Rain. Oh, huh? I think it came with the Brilliant Stars. I could be wrong, but... Ooh. Okay. Well, we're going to open this in order here, so let's go with this. Where shall I put it? Where shall I put it? And make sure I don't cut the cords. So now I'm not an expert with opening these because I know there's like a special way to like open them up and I kind of forgot how many cards to flip to the back. So I'm gonna have to Make a mess of this. Cause the only oh, this thing is tight, jeez. The only Pokemon cards that I have were actually from um like promos. I think almost all of them are promos. Most of them from Shonen Jump magazines or not Shonen Jump. Is it Shonen Jump? I know Shonen Jump had like Yu-Gi-Oh. I got a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh promos. Uh, there are promos from something, but I have... Oh, Toys R Us. I know Toys R Us gave them out. So we have like a bunch of those. But I have some older ones too, I think. Okay, look. Ooh, redeem them. Okay, I'm going to cheat and like Try to look a bit only because I can't remember how many to flip, so right back. Okay, so I know what it is. <laughs> it's one, two, three, four, and then put it like this and flip it. There we go. So we have the fighting energy. I don't think we got any of the fighting energy yet. Like that. Revile. The trainer card. The supporter Tinsley. Hmm. As a reminder, if you um want to take a look at any of these closer, just pause the video. Another trainer. Supporter Cafe Master. Or fish. Oh wow. What a nice one for Magmar. Like in the snowy area? Let me look at this closer. Wow. 
That's a unique looking one. Doesn't kind of look like the others. Spirit Tomb. Then, oh, how do you say this? Burmy? Bur Burmy? Bur no, I'm gonna just say Burmy. Are these like seasonal? Is that what it is? Like this, like spring, summer, and fall or something? I don't quite remember this Pokemon very well, so I don't, I don't know what the um the difference was. Impa dip. Ooh. And we got Tarkoal. And it has the ums. Uh, I don't know the all the, the fancy terms, but this does have like some kind of shiny hollow thing, whatever for this part. Is that called like the reverse hollow? So this one has you can see like the fire. And the other set we opened we had like I think one or two like that. Okay, and then what's this last card? This last card looked like it was fancy. Maybe. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh. Ooh, is this good? Is this a good one? Or is this just a regular good one? It's a Charizard V. Let me angle this so I can see it. Oh. Kind of shiny. Also, looks like Charizard is shinier. Is that embossed or something? Look at that. Ooh. Cool. Let me know if this is like one of the really rare ones or something. Because I have no idea if we were just opening them because it's fun. <laughs> but you know, Pokemon is supposed to be fun. Let's write them. There you go. So that's what I got from the Brilliant Stars. And I like that. The Charizard and the Charizard. Okay. So I'm going to do the hard thing and try to stuff these back in. See if I can get it back in nicely. Like look at the back. <laughs> How's the back look? Is that centered or is that kind of lopsided? It kind of looks lopsided. A little bit more here than here. Huh. That's still neat. We're going to open the other brilliant stars. The arses. Oh, don't crap. Don't crap, secrets. Are so packed in. Jeez. Oh, look, there's stuff on the back. Do you want to see what the back says? Here we go while I try to take this out. Oh my god. I have to open it further. Kind of don't want to split the back, but it's not coming out. Oh, okay. Jeez. 
Oh, I did this. So what is my history with Pokemon? Well, I watched the show back when it was on some other weird channel that I can't remember what channel it was now. One, two, three, four. Yeah. But definitely was... Oh. Before 2000s, 1998, 1999. So it wasn't like on anything mainstream yet, but you know, for kids, it was still doing it. So I watched it from then. And then I kind of got interested in the card game because a friend who kind of, uh, pardon me, by the way. My friend who got me to watch Pokemon, she also had the cards. So I did actually play the very early trading cards game. Oh, double that. Another wee while. And then I didn't really like want to get too invested in buying all the cards. So I did get the... What was it now? Game Boy Color? Game Boy Advance? Um, the TCG video game on the handheld system, the first one. So I got that and I played the um, trading card game from that. And then I just got like promo cards or anything like that between. Ah, Cherubi. Then of course I watched the show, bought the other video games, you know, like I got blue first and then I got red and then I got yellow. This is another one, by the way, where it's like that, kind of like that painting looking. That's neat. Um, and then what came out after that? Manaphy! Another property reverse. What was after that? Was it gold and silver? Or was it when they re-released it so that they had the yellow? But anyway, it was like, I had all of them up to... I did not grab Ruby and Sapphire, the first ones. I ended up skipping those, but then I kind of got back on track after that. Oh, oh, oh. Oof. Ooh. Crab bowl. Ooh. Sophie. Wow. Is this good too? Or is this not as great as the Charizard? Oh, two of the V ones though. The other set that we opened, I think we only ended up with with um a Leafeon. That was the V. I don't remember which set gave that, but that was the only V that we got in that other one, but look at that. We got a Charizard and a Grand Bull. Mm. Very good, very good. So that Brilliant Stars pack was, those two were pretty good. Okay, now let's take them back in here. Yeah, so that's my history with um, Pokemon. Watched it, played it, played both types. Just never really had like the money to really invest in buying all the different um, sets. Oh, and especially, you know, after a while when the craze got really crazy and people were just buying it because they were selling the cards. And then even just, you know, like if you just wanted to get the McDonald's ones, that was like worse. Like adults and stuff all just like buying like so many Happy Meals. Hard for people who just, you know, just want to regular collect or even just like the kids who just want it. It was hard for them. 
to even get a happy meal, so... Oh, I'm glad the this last Pokemon one that they just had, the one where I had the short... This is a fusion strike, by the way. I'm glad that one they put a limit. And it definitely wasn't as crazy, because I know at first we couldn't... Um, get the Happy Meal with the with the Pokemon because it was out and we waited quite a while I think until towards the end of when they were gonna have the run before we finally got anything just crazy gotta save some for regular people or even just the kids you know don't have to go crazy and buy a whole bunch for the kids Oh boy, are you going to also be hard to take out? Ugh, okay. Just, just a... Ooh, so nothing. One, two, three, four, energy. You know what, I forgot to check the back of the, the grand pool, but eh, it's okay. Okay, another fighting energy. Alucha? I hope I said that correctly. Dancer. It's one of the trainers. Not Simi Sage. Now let me know in the comments though how you got started with um, Pokemon. It's always interesting to see like at what point people got into Pokemon. Chuto. Chuto? Chuto. No, Chuto. Like turtle. Onyx. Meowth. You Python. Oh, another uh, supposedly reverse hollow item. That's cute. I think this must be from a different set, huh? That I don't see like that little fancy like picture one. Hmm. Anyway, right now, ah, regular. How do you even see this? A sil... Silgo? Silgore. Sil... Sil... I don't know how to say it. But look, it's this. It's from the Shelmet. No fancy card this time. Well, except for this... This minor, but... No, like, other fancy card in this one, but that's key. Okay, good look at what I got. Okay. Another fun thing you guys can tell me in the comments. Who grabbed the tin sets from Costco? Did you grab all, like, or not all, but did you grab both sets? Or did you only grab one? What did you do with them? Did you give it away? Keep it? Sell it? I would not blame you if you tried to sell it. That's just how it is. It's a perfect time to give it as a gift though, if you know anybody who's into Pokemon. If there happens to be one of their favorites on the, the tins. I open this one, hopefully it's a good one. I know I mentioned that I grabbed this four set, the one that had the Umbreon. I mentioned that we also grabbed the other one. <laughs> so I at first I only grabbed the Umbreon and I was the, or the set with the umbrella and I was like, hmm, 
I don't want the other one too, but it's a little steep of a price though. It's gonna be like hundred more than the hundred twenty to buy both. It's like mm, it's kinda steep, kinda steep. But at like one time anyway. I'm just gonna spit it here. But the day that I recorded this, I actually had to go because I needed to grab a couple of things that we were running out of. And the Costco still had it. Where it's a different location I went to and they had it. They had it like right when you enter the store. So I was like, mm. So I put it in a cart. I was going to think about it. So I was like, no. I probably still give the others. In case my husband can think of somebody too that he can give the others. Taking gloves. You know, like like maybe maybe I should get it because I don't know if I'm going to regret it later. Because the um, if you know the the tips and the tricks of uh, Costco, it had the asterisks on top of the. On the price tag so that means they're probably not going to get any more in at least for this i don't know if they'd actually discount this down oh fledgling fledgling is one of my other favorites of uh, evolution i mean i don't know if they'd ever price it down but i'm pretty sure that means they're the asterisk means that they're not going to get some more though so go get it if you want to oh it's a muddy Medip is also my favorite, the, the evolutionary line with the Medip. Yay, the Fletching and the Medip. This is a cute one. Ooh, how do you say this? Crygono. Crygono? Crygono. It's pretty neat though. Does it evolve from? Isn't this like. Not the first stage, is it? Isn't this like the second stage? No, is that what it said? I guess this is just the first stage of regular. Oh, I don't remember. Oh, it's another one. Another reverse. It's the apple. Apple tune. Apple tune? You really, when you look at this, you don't really think this is supposed to be a dragon, right? This is a dragon, dragon type. It, it just, it, you don't really think about it. It's like, oh, that's not dragon, that's grass. It's an apple. Although interesting that this requires the grass and the fire energy. What does it say? It says, if your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon V, this attack does 80 more damage. Wow. That's a lot. What is this? Why does it have a times? Attack the 70 damage for each special energy card attached to your opponent's Pokemon. Oh, oh this is actually pretty good then. Or is this, this is pretty good because I mean it sounds pretty good. You can do additional damage. Yeah, let's see. Whoa. Oh, oh. Another V finally. How do you say you? Val Corona? Okay, now that just doesn't sound right. We're just gonna call it Val. I'm not gonna say the other part because that sounds like something else, if you know what I mean. Val. It's the fire moth. I think it's the moth, right? Ooh, look at that. Yay. Okay, three out of. Five packs, that's not bad. Remember to look on the back. Uh, I don't know if that's in there. That kind of doesn't look like it is, but yeah, it's okay. Ooh, here we go. Take a quick look again. By the way, who is picking up the new, um, Scarlet and Violet games coming out on the 18th. 
Hit your fastest recording would be this week Friday. Who was picking it up? Which one are you picking up? Picking up? It's Violet, Violet. We are of course picking up both because uh, let's see who's having what now. I think I'm getting the going to be playing the Violet, and I think he's playing Scarlet. I think so. I could be wrong. Yeah, who's picking up the game? Who's going to play what? If you're going to be hating on the uh, gimmicks and stuff for the game, uh, then it's, it's fine if you want to say something, but let's not fill that up in the comments here with just the filling of hate on the, the way that they did this version. Let's keep it positive here. Okay, last one is the chilling rain. Let me check something. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to go catch the bus and go pick that up from our local game stop. So that should be fun, so I sure hope they get it in. Because, I don't know, but they've been kind of delayed with some stuff, and then I've, we've had to wait for some of it, so I, I hope they actually get it when they're supposed to. Yeah, another curious question on this. One, two, three, four. What are you picking as your starter? Mm. What energy is this? Is this the dark energy? Mm, I don't see like too much though. Oh yeah, it should be. Yeah. I'm looking at the, the Umbreon card and it has this so okay not dark energy i don't think we've gotten the dark energy yet okay who are you picking as your starters i am picking the duck i forget his name that's who i'm picking as my starter who are you going to choose trainer oh brother keith This looks like it's like a color pencils or something. Lapras. Oh, with the um, turtles with the shoes in the back there. Hmm. Blitzo. Blitzo? Blitzo. Blitzo is kind of one of my favorites. It's kind of cute looking. Pokemon Go version has like the, the special one with the, what is it, the bow tie or something for one of the events? That's kind of cute. Funny thing is I only had like the, the special Pokemon Go version with the, the bow tie for like the longest time. I never had like a just a regular one. And I eventually got a regular one. Okay, what is this? Is this the winter? I mean there's snow so I guess this is the winter yearling. Because, you know, they have the four different ones. Ooh. So we got a... I assume a reverse. And it's a trainer card. Boat Cemetery. What does it say? Whenever any player catches an energy card from their hand to one of their non... What is it? Psychic? It's the eyeball. Is that the psychic? Pokemon? Put two damage counters on that Pokemon. Yeah, must be psychic because Ralph's is psychic. Huh. 
Okay. Oh, is this a regular card? It's a regular card. Oh, that's just the slurp off. Now it's the last pack. Yeah, it's a cute card. Gotta say though, three out of five getting like a, a V, like a V, V card. V. I don't know what how you call it. V. We're just calling it a V card. Three out of five packs getting a V card is pretty good though. Gotta say. There you go. So I hope you enjoy seeing this little unpacking of um, one of the tins from the, the Costco 4 pack. Gives you an idea of what is in it. Since I have not opened up any of the tins from the the other four set, I can't really say for sure what um what sets are going to be in there, like card pack wise. But I assume these are all sword and shield though, so they'll probably all have sword and shield in there as well. It's just the uh, you know I don't know what um, series is going to be from. No, is it going okay? So yeah, but if you're a fan or you know somebody who's a fan, you should go get it because well, I'm pretty sure it's a pretty good price. It's a nice collection item too. Let's put these out again just like this. Ooh. You know, if you're gonna resell it, that that's cool too, but don't be real stingy and like charge some really huge up price like because there are probably people who really want it but they're not able to get it so you know make it reasonable at least i mean unless for some reason you like open up a card pack and you got them some super super rare thing and i guess you have to charge the price you're supposed to but you know be nice though about that kind of thing because you know people like me just just enjoy Pokemon and just enjoy collecting. But anyway, again, hope you enjoyed. And maybe I might unpack one of the other ones. We'll see. But um, look forward to any more like Pokemon related stuff that might come up at some point. And see you guys playing the game. Bye. -bye.